Good morning, children. I hope you all are safe at home, but uh, all of you must be getting very eager to begin with your studies. I am Moshvi Singh, and I'll be taking geography with you. So let us begin with our lessons for today. Today's topic of discussion is the atmosphere. And before we begin with the discussion of the atmosphere, we will be learning about the realms of the earth. So what are realms? Realms actually means kingdoms. But here we are not going to talk about any kings or queens of the kingdom. We are going to talk about the realms of the earth. And what are they? They are namely the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, the lithosphere. And since there is life in all these three realms, we also call it the biosphere. Bio means life. Sphere means the earth. So the earth has got four realms. They are the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, and the lithosphere. So as far as the atmosphere is concerned, it is the blanket of air which surrounds the earth. And because the earth has got a very strong gravitational pull, so the atmosphere is pulled towards the earth. The atmosphere has got certain compositions and this you can see it on the slide which is being displayed on the screen. The atmosphere has got 78% of nitrogen, 20.9% of oxygen, argon which is an inert gas is having a composition of only 0.90% while other gases include 0.17 carbon dioxide very minuscule that is 0.03% apart from all this in this composition Along with the other gases, we have got several impurities like smoke, salts, pollen grains, certain chemicals of varying quantities, all are found in the atmosphere. This atmosphere is of great importance and it is having a height of about 1600 kilometers. You can also see it in your book that how the atmosphere has got several layers. So right from the surface of the earth, as you go higher up, there are several layers of the atmosphere. Most of the atmosphere's consistency is found very close to the earth and it is mainly because of two reasons. Firstly, because of the gravitational pull of the earth. So nearly 90% of the atmosphere's density is very close to the earth. Secondly, because of the higher layers, they keep on putting a lot of pressure on the lower layers. So, the maximum concentration of the atmosphere is found on the lowest layer of the atmosphere, which is closest to the earth. 
the atmosphere is divided into five distinct layers namely the troposphere the stratosphere the mesosphere the thermosphere and the exosphere which actually gets itself lost into space so today we will now learn about the troposphere now this troposphere is closest to the earth's surface very dense and here all kinds of disturbances of the atmosphere takes place like lightning storms rainfall all kinds of disturbances in the weather phenomena takes place in the troposphere here the density of the air is highest and another very important feature of the troposphere is that as we go higher the temperature begins to decrease this is known as the lapse rate the lapse rate is the rate at which the temperature decreases with increasing height it is very clearly felt in the troposphere whereas we go higher the temperature goes on decreasing the next layer of the atmosphere is the stratosphere this stratosphere is of great importance because here we have the ozone now this ozone layer as you can see it the molecules of oxygen is 3 so ozone has molecules of oxygen in 3 th and this ozone layer is of great importance because it filters the uv rays of the sun it does not allow the uv rays to enter or reach the earth surface because if they reach the earth surface they can create a lot of disturbance in the atmosphere so the ozone layer which is found only in the stratosphere helps in filtering the uv rays which is harmful for human beings as well as uh, vegetation on the earth in this stratosphere the temperature goes on increasing so unlike the troposphere the stratosphere has got an increase in temperature with height next we learn about the mesosphere now the mesosphere here you can see very clearly that meteors are striking the earth trying to reach the earth but it is over here that they get burnt because when the meteors are striking the atmosphere of the earth they come under friction and this friction burns them in the mesosphere the temperature begins to decrease along with height further as we go higher we find the thermosphere the thermosphere is also known as the ionosphere in the thermosphere or the ionosphere the particles of 
the air is very very far away from one another this region is also known as a region of silence because due to the distance of partic particles being very far away from one another sound cannot travel very easily sound requires a medium and since the medium is not very dense so it cannot pass from one particle to another nevertheless the thermosphere is very important because it helps in radio transmission from the earth to reach back to the earth that is all wireless communication has to be reflected back to the earth and this can only happen due to the thermosphere another very important aspect of the thermosphere is that here temperature again begins to rise with height so we see that alternately that is in the troposphere temperature decreases with height in the stratosphere temperature increases with height mesosphere temperature again decreases with height while in the thermosphere we find temperature increases with height as we go further towards the top we find the exosphere now this exosphere is a sphere which merges with the outer space and gradually it merges with the interplanetary area of the atmosphere this is a highly rarefied area and not much is known about this exosphere however several researchers are going on to learn more about this sphere and other areas beyond this sphere so today we have learned about the atmosphere its composition and its several layers which surround the earth and forms a blanket around the earth i hope you must have enjoyed the video and you must have learned whatever has been taught you should go through the chapter from page number 8 to 10 leaving the last paragraph we will continue with the topic in the next class thank you and have a nice day